Hi, uh, in today's video we're going to be building this book press.
Okay, so this is part um, of a series of bookbinding projects and jigs. We're also making a sewing frame and a bookbinding vise and plow. This press though, I've been wanting something like this for a long time because of course, when you do bookbinding, you use a press all the time at different stages, but a press is also really great for a bunch of other kinds of things. I mean, in terms of the shop and having one when you do woodworking, um, you get very even pressure on this whole surface. So really great for all kinds of glue ups and when you want to hold down something Thing really tightly. Um, not to mention, you know, if you're doing like printing or you want to just press leaves or flowers or whatever. 
I really wanted this press to feel like something that was 100 years old, you know, like a really classic, elegant, a couple of things kind of went into the thoughts about the design here, and that is, first of all, the wood. Uh, this is white oak, which is one of my favorite types of wood. It's, it's uh, so classic and, and strong and sturdy. We also opted for half-blind dovetails. Um, I mean, these kind of book presses are traditionally made in cast iron, so really heavy and really sturdy. Of course, when you use wood, you have to make sure that your construction is really solid, because when you're using a press, it exudes a lot of force. Uh, so you want to make sure that the top and the bottom don't come apart. And, and you really can't go wrong with dovetails in that sense. And of course, it's really chunky because the wood is quite thick. Also, in addition to the white oak, have a little bit of contrasting Bolivian rosewood here and here and here, um, which looks kind of nice. And of course, the sign is kind of a fun addition to personalize it a little bit. Now the screw used here, this is an Acme thread screw um, that is made to be used in a Scandinavian style workbench, like for the vise. And it works really well for this use and it's a really smooth operation. So, um, I guess the other thing too, you don't want any sharp corners or anything, so everything has been shaped really well. And also it has these rubber feet on here. I uh, used this product for a bunch of different things and I picked it up at like, a farming supply store. Um, and it's this thick rubber that really is great because it makes it really sturdy, it doesn't move at all. So you can exude quite a lot of force when you turn the screw and it's still like a solid on the desk or the table or wherever you wanna keep it. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Um, I'm also gonna be covering more about this bookbinding stuff uh, moving forward in other build videos and shop updates. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.